My guest now is Pete Skomarok, Principal Data Scientist at LinkedIn. Thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. Now I read that LinkedIn has data features. What, what are those exactly? Uh, so data features at LinkedIn are really parts of our product. They're infused throughout the experience. So LinkedIn is the largest professional network in the world. We have over 200 million members. Uh, and those members are all connected to each other, mm -hmm. right? In some fa fashion, either as colleagues or as uh, uh, alumni or as peers, right? So people at the Strata Conference are often connected. Um, and really, um, the, one of the interesting properties of the social network is that it contains all these viral loops, right? So people come to the site, they invite someone, they connect, they send them messages, they endorse each other for their skills and expertise on LinkedIn. Um, and all of these activities create data, um, both in the member profile, when you accept an endorsement, it adds as a skill to your profile, for example. That's data that then we can leverage to improve your experience on the site. So those okay. are really what we call data features, are mm -hmm. these modules and things that we build and infuse, like search and job matching and recommendations to make your experience better and to make the experience better for your peers. So the endorsement tool, you mentioned that, that that's considered a, a feature, is that correct? That's right, so that's, we, we call them uh, data products because really it takes a product team, including design, engineering, operations, data scientists, engineers, to build this. Uh, and really that's, that's what I'm going to be talking about more today at Strata. Uh, I'm going to be talking about uh, particularly LinkedIn endorsements and skills mm -hmm. and how really what we're doing is we're tapping into a fundamental desire that we as humans have and as professionals to be validated and to validate others. And what we've really done is we've taken that desire and we've provided uh, a network and a channel for which people to express that desire. And that's the design part and the desire and then the engineering of networking this together. But then the real magic, the catalyst that really accelerates the system and gathers this reputation database is are, are the algorithms and data on top of that. So specific to the endorsement tool, how did that come about? Did it start with that des desire? Did it start with that idea of we, we need a way to offer you know an opportunity for people to do this type of thing? Yeah, I, I think that this is a this is a concept. Uh, so I think it goes back to our founder Reed Hoffman, um, and I think early on also uh, 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 one of our product directors Adam Nash um, uh, was my manager uh, a few years ago, and. Um, we were, we were talking about this idea of providing a lightweight way for people to, to offer this form of validation. Mm -hmm. um, and this is something that they'd wanted to do for a long time, but it really wasn't possible until we had this skill data. So another data product okay. that we launched was uh, LinkedIn Skills. Actually, we launched it at Strata two years ago. Mm -hmm. um, and subsequent to that, we, we built a recommendation algorithm that would suggest skills you may have on your profile. So really, once we had those two building blocks, we could then build this this long-term vision of a, of a endorsement ecosystem where people could endorse e each other for very specific topics. So the skills tool actually led to the endorsements one, is that that's correct? Right. And it couldn't have gone the other way, is that right? It, it was kind of a chicken and egg problem, yeah. right? And so that's another thing I'm going to talk about is how do you bootstrap this when you don't have that structured data? But it, it would be bad, for example, say there's like thousands of variants of Microsoft Office that someone could put on their profile. Mm -hmm. Unless you have this data normalization and this data right. standardization, um, which we did with LinkedIn Skills, we really provided transparency and showed this to the users. That allowed us to clean up the data and allowed our users to help us clean the data. Um, and then we had the structured data, the content data, to make the recommendations that we wanted. Interesting, all right, so last question, and it's related to that. So, um, does a does a data feature when you're when you're pushing that? Do you feel like that it has the opportunity for expo exponential numbers of products off of it, or is it more of a linear pattern where it's you know skills led to endorsements, or is it I, I endorsements think, could be you know any of oh a yeah. thousand things? No, I, I think uh, again I'll mention Reed again, and one of the one of the core values that I think we we absorb from from his presence has this really long term strategic thinking, right? I think he's had like a ten year plan for LinkedIn when he started, mm -hmm. right? And I think. Thinking through uh, under leadership at Jeff Weiner, some of the stuff that we've done, um, it's it's very it's very uh, carefully planned and executed, right? So skills was phase one, mm -hmm. uh, suggestions phase two, and then suggested endorsements phase three, and really um, we're at the point now where we have this massive database of skills and reputation, and there's it sets the stage just like skills set the stage for endorsements. This sets the stage for the next uh, generation of data products. 
and you can imagine what what's the value of knowing um, who are who are the people who are really being endorsed for Hadoop. Who you know what are the skills that uh -huh. a data scientist needs rather yeah. than just ask that anecdotally. We can dig into the data and figure out the successful data scientists. What are the skills that they have? Th their reputation is strong, in. and it all has a strong structure to it as That's well. That's right. right. It's not kind of a loose configuration. Yeah. Great. Well, thanks so much for being with us. Appreciate it. Thank you.